So compound interest. Now, as I mentioned earlier, compound interest is where the interest is charged on the uh, principal plus the interest. In other words, for every period, what happens is that the next interest will be charged on the principal plus what? The interest. Unlike simple interest where the interest is always charged on the principal, with compound interest, the interest is added to the original figure, added to the original figure, added to the original figure. Meaning, in, in simple interest, the same interest is paid over the life of the investment, over the life of the loan, but under compound interest, the investment was changes with time. Formula wise, we say S equals X out 1 plus R exponent N. 1 plus R exponent N. So, what does it mean? You know the things that are here already is the same thing. Sum at the end, principal, rate, and then on. The number of periods. So let's look at a question, write it down. Nana Limited invested $20,000. Nana Limited invested $20,000 at 10% interest rate for three years. Nana Limited invested $20,000 at 10% interest rate for two years. Hey, for three years, sorry. Calculate the total sum at the end of the third year. At the end of the three years. Calculate the total sum at the end of the three years. Calculate the total sum at the end of the three years. So how do we go about this? Now when it comes to compound interest, there is, let me do the traditional approach and then we we'll use the formula as well. So you get the understanding well. So let's slash our currency sign investment. So year one. How much are we investing? Twenty thousand dollars. So at what interest rate? So interest will be ten percent of twenty thousand, and that will be two thousand. So what do we have? So at the start of year two, the money will be twenty two thousand. So for year two, interest will be charged on that amount, ten percent of twenty two thousand. What you got? 2,200, you add it up. That will be year three, start of year three. And that's... Then, interest for year three. 10% of 24,200, what you got? 24,200. So at the end of the year three, what do we have? So that is how much we will get at the end. This is the traditional approach. So if we are using the formula, what do we do? Our principal is $20,000. Our rate is 10%. The number of period here is what? 4. So we substitute it. S will be equal to $20,000 times 1 plus 0 0.1 exponent 4. What do you have? 26. That's it. That's it. So that's why I said for compound interest, interest is computed on what? The uh, new balance. The new balance in that case. Exponent. Is it? Exponent 3. Okay, yeah, 3. Thank you. 
So that's it about that. Sweet, simple, straight to the point. Under compound interest also, we could be asked to calculate how long it takes for us to what? Earn some money. So let's look at another question, question two. Write it down. At what annual rate of compounded interest? At what annual rate of compounded interest? At what annual rate of compounding interest will two thousand dollars grow to will two thousand dollars grow to two seven two one thousand dollars two hundred and two thousand seven hundred and twenty one thousand dollars after four years after four years So in this question, what are you finding? The interest rate. So try your hands on it and let me see what you can do. So in this scenario, S equals X out 1 plus R exponent 4. How much are we getting after? 2, 7, 2, 1. And how much are we investing? 2,000. 1 plus interest rate. That's what we're looking for, exponent 4. So, since there is an exponent here, whatever is affecting this, we have to divide through. So, 2721 equals 2000 out 1 plus r exponent 4. So, we divide by 2000, divide by 2000 to get rid of the 2000 here. So that we have 1 plus r exponent 4, and that will give us 2721 over 2000. What do I have? One point three six. Now, anytime you see square like that, it means that uh, whatever uh, exponent, whatever you see, you introduce a square root sign for it. So we're going to have one plus r to the fourth root equals one point three six. The fourth root. In case you are having a challenge with that, anything root is the same as one over that thing. Does it make sense? It means seven way. It means fourth root is one over all four. So if you can't punch the fourth root, you can punch it one over four. So one plus r equals what do I get? So that r will be equal to that thing minus one. One point zero eight. So that now one point zero eight minus one. You get what? 0 0.08 times 100 percent. Then you can now get your rate. 0 0.08 times 100, and that'll be 8 percent, I guess. Are you able to punch the fourth root? So, this is what you are supposed to do. So, how come we got? What percentage did you say you have? 5.1. So what did you do wrong? Yeah, the, uh, the method you were using is the approach that got you wrong. So this should be the approach you should use. Are you getting it? This should be the approach you should use. Time value of money is almost any strong pair they have. That's that's the principle about that. So that's how we do it. Compound interest. 